One finalist drops out from the pool of candidates to be the next leader of Memphis Shelby County School District. The board voting to renew interim superintendent Tony Williams contract tonight, but she can no longer be in the running for the permanent job. Action News 5's Bria Bolden live now from MSCS headquarters with more on Williams's new contract and what's next for the superintendent search. Bria. Well, many of you may remember last August, you know, interim superintendent Tony Williams and board members had said that she was not interested in taking the permanent superintendent job. As we know, that changed months later and she applied for the position. However, tonight with this new signed contract, it requires her not to be considered for the permanent role. A packed house inside and in overflow rooms of teachers, students, and community members waiting to hear what the board would decide on Tony Williams' interim superintendent contract. I have seen you are a person of integrity who is genuinely concerned about the well-being of our district. One public speaker in support of Williams in the permanent role and others against it. The board voted 6-1 to one to renew Williams' contract. The catch? She will no longer be considered for the permanent superintendent role. Board members thanked Williams for her service as interim during the 2022-2023 school year. I say to Tony Williams, she's not related to me, but I love her as if she's my daughter. She has been great. She has been what he needs for this time, but I have reminded her of what the Bible said. It is your own who will not receive you. So I am clear on that. We have, she has agreed to do what we're going to do. We're going to go out, cast the debt again. We'll come back with somebody. Williams reviewed her time as interim this past school year and says she has no regrets applying for the permanent job. I continue to serve this community that I love so much. And so during that time, I am supporting the board in a way like no other. There's an opportunity this year to serve another year, and that's my focus right now. Attorney Herman Morris, who negotiated the resignation of former Superintendent Joris Ray, handled Williams' new contract. She'll be paid $310,000, and her new contract expires August 2024. Regret? Absolutely not. Not on a community that has made me a superintendent, one of the few superintendents in the country that is female. So the board also voted tonight to select a new vice chair. Joyce, excuse me, Joyce Doris Coleman will serve in that position for now. And coming up tomorrow, the board plans on meeting with the superintendent search firm to discuss the timeline and the next steps in this process. We plan on being there. Reporting live from MSCS headquarters tonight, Bria Bolden, Action News 5.